lit when she hears how much we pulled in. way back, but I'm glad they chose to send me somewhere safe. Not somewhere. I wouldn't want to be rocked for that. I never thought a single person could be spread so thin. These count? Not in this damn bottle cap economy. You got it with the cards you were dealt and learn to make the best of it. Trying to get through another day. So this is a place that's bringing all these damn people to Appalachia. Bid us welcome, as we beckon thee with this divine lamp, that we may be blessed by the air underneath thy wings. Nothing's ever simple. How would things be different with a normal family? All right, 
Ten sex to take a breather. Do this, do that. This, do that. Oh, hello. <laughs> Fine day today, isn't it? How would things be different with a normal family? could stay awake to hear it! Excuse me? Just who do you think you're speaking to? Oh, shut it, Connie. You're always starting crap. I got the right to say what I mean. Your fancy jazz is putting me to sleep. <laughs> really? Now I don't know what indignities you and Miss Country Thrift Store are forced to survive out here. Hey! I scavenged these threads from Charleston Landfill, fair and square. You're living in a bubble, lady. The Wasteland ain't no place for some schnazzy pre-war nightclub. Get out of my club! Get out! Out! Oh, jeez Louise. You don't have to tell me twice. By the way, your singing sucks anyway. Oh, the nerve! <sighs> well, that was embarrassing. Welcome to the Rose Room. Anything to drink? What's your pleasure? I apologize on behalf of my mother. We'll have enough trouble getting people in here without her immediately scaring them away. To be honest, this is more turnout than I expected. Which is welcome, of course. I mean, I just hope the rest of them are friendly. <clears throat> Anything to drink? And that would be a beer. Because stock was on me, just behind the other hundred things on my to-do list that nobody else is doing. Sorry, it's not your job to hear me complain. It's your job to relax, have a drink, and enjoy the music. So, what can I help you with? There's another question for my dear mother. We just moved here from the coast, Atlantic City, which... Believe it or not, is doing pretty well compared to, um, you know, everywhere else. Over there, Mom was an entertainer. That's what she does, what she knows. I don't think she's woken up to the reality of what the rest of the world is like out here. My sister's sitting over there. Dad's probably up in his room. He's getting up there, starting to have some cognitive issues recently. It doesn't make him great for socializing. See, that's, um, you know, why does anyone move, really? 
to see new sights, you know, make new friends, get a fresh start. Could I offer you another drink? Yeah, yeah, I, I really could. My mom thought we weren't going to have any trouble tonight, but the crowd I've seen so far, I have my doubts, big ones. If you feel inclined, um, could you keep an eye out? Maybe, if it's necessary, handle a fight? But keep a low profile about it so mom doesn't freak out. I'd really appreciate it. Right, of course not. I wouldn't expect you to. The head's just all over the place lately. This is what I can spare. Go ahead and join the audience. If nothing happens, then um, you can enjoy the show just like everyone else. I hope that's the case, but you know, better safe than sorry. And thank you, I do really appreciate the help. Welcome to the Rose Room. Ten sex to take a breather. I wish just once we could keep it together. Hello, folks. Rowdy looking bunch out there. Well, as I say. There's no better cure for a long day than some snazzy tunes. Sit back and enjoy. I can't listen to this baloney no more. Let's light this place up. God damn it! Everyone, ah! you see me give the goddamn signal? What the hell was that? How hard is it? Follow oh, simple instructions. Vincenzo, why is my audience dead? <laughs> why don't you ask this guy before he croaks? I mean, really? <coughs> what does on my signal mean to you? Does it mean whatever the hell you want? Didn't turn out well for them. <laughs> what about me, huh? Condemned to death by the stupidity of others. It was simple. Wait for all the Russos to be in the room together. Shoot on my signal. Couldn't follow either one. Almost makes me happy to be put out of my freaking misery. <coughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Whoever it was, they're wasting their time sending you all this way. Hey, I told them the same thing, lady. Starting to think they wanted to get rid of me, too. Then 
Vincenzo, what did you do? What? Really? You of all people are gonna point your finger at me? <coughs> Guess every one of you nutsos has a reason to be afraid of payback from Atlantic City. Sleep tight, Russos. I may not be the last to come for you. Just nonsense is all it is. We can't let them scare us. We don't know who they are to begin with. Oh, don't act like you're above all this. For all we know, someone at City Hall has it out for you. I can't even begin to tell you how little you know about me and City... Shit, Abby, are you okay? What was that? I must, must have left something. Where did I screw up? Get away from me. Oh, they know. I thought I covered my tracks. They're gonna come back. They're gonna... What are you talking about? She's got the shakes. Could be she's danced with the devil. You're my own mom. Don't talk to me like... <sighs> Crap. I think you're right. Those who fancy themselves part of the Atlantic City High Life have access to a special intoxicant. They drink the devil's blood. I should have paid more attention. Must be the stress of the move got to her. You say that now? All of this was your idea. We're so busy dealing with your problems, there's no room for anyone else. Is that really how you feel, Vincenzo? Yes, it is 100% absolutely how I feel. After everything I've done for us, everything I've sacrificed! Unbelievable. Crap. I think I went too far. Sorry about all this. I was right to expect trouble. Just not... this much of it. I really appreciate that. Just... Uh, please go talk to my mother for me. It was a bad time to set her off. Right now, we just need to figure out how to help Abby. So cold. Thank you. I know you'll have better luck than I would. What was that? I must, must have left something. Why did I screw up?
gonna come for me. Night is a failure. I offer drinks, games, music, more excitement and luxury than this dreary mountain range has ever seen. And what do I get? An audience full of hitmen, a strung out daughter, and an unappreciative son. Just ridiculous. Nothing makes sense anymore. I must, must have left something. Where did I screw up? Need me! The last time they needed me was when they were in diapers. Those unruly children learned the gift of language and have used it to complain ever since. He must, he must have left something. Of course he does. Where did I screw up? And I'd like one thing in the last 20 years of my life to count as a success. Is that so much to ask for? Ah, oh, fine. I'll come downstairs and help. The extra moment of peace isn't worth delaying the inevitable. But it's not like I'll be able to do anything anyway. They're gonna come for me. Oh. And just what are you implying? You don't know anything about me! I did what was necessary to survive in a cutthroat industry full of insane people. If they'd come after me for that, let them. What was that? Once a paradise, now a madhouse. Everyone lost their sanity after the bombs. The showmen are the worst of all. Avoid them at all costs. You think I'm not concerned? Let me ask you something. What do you do to de-stress? Read a comic? Listen to the radio? It's the apocalypse. Maybe you go out and blow some heads off. Whatever it is, so it's a distraction. Cold. A tool to stay sane under pressure. So don't you dare judge me for keeping my head above water. Much better to complain than to have an emotional breakdown. They're masochists who get off on risking their own lives in front of others. Once upon a time, people could appreciate simple talent. Now, everyone's so depressed about the end of the world that the only way they can feel something is by pumping their adrenaline up to 11. The showmen make a living by capitalizing on that desire. Do me one favor first. Go upstairs and let my husband Antonio know what's happening. He may not understand, but he should at least be told. I'm so cold. Pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the Russo's Haven. How, how, how do you like the festivities? I must, must have left something. Where did I screw up? Blood of the devil? Now, that doesn't sound like something anybody should be drinking. My daughter. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. She's a great kid. A uh, fast learner. Resilient and stubborn. <laughs> she, well, does, 
Does she need something? Hitman? What hitman? Have you been watching too much television? My daughter. Oh. Um. My daughter. Oh, you know, I I still remember catching little Abby with a pack of candy pilfered from the convenience store. <laughs> so clever. Yeah. And so stubborn. <laughs> I, I never I thought that, that she would. Um. um were, were, were we talking about somebody? Hitman? What hitman? It's so cold. Going already? But you you just said hello. Would you happen to have the time? It's so cold. What was that? Must, must have left something. You're back. Thanks for that. Up? Look, I've done some thinking. Devil's blood is highly addictive, and withdrawal is dangerous. It could even be fatal. We're hundreds of miles away from anyone who knows what to do about this. Doctors here are only going to know about regular chems. It's so A doctor's not good enough anyway. We need the blood. Correct. And the only way to get to Atlantic City in a timely fashion is a vertebrate. Are you? 
Say, you don't happen to be on good terms with the refuge, do you? That's a boon we really need right now. I need to ask you something crazy. Because you don't really know us, and, and really, from what you've seen so far, have no reason to trust us. But my sister is in trouble, so I'm going to ask. Could you fly to Atlantic City and bring back a dose of Devil's Blood? Uh, you make the second part of that sound like a simple ask. I did say it was crazy. But please, and I really mean it. It'd be a bad idea for any of us to go back there right now. Where did I screw up? If newcomers like us could even negotiate a flight in the first place. They're gonna come for me. Remember the firefight earlier? Whoever sent those people still has it out for us. <laughs> For one of us, in any case. Undetermined. We could fight about it all day. What was that? You're not joking, right? Oh, you can pull this off. We... Abby needs you to. Please, just let us know as soon as possible if anything goes wrong. I'll do whatever I can for her in the meantime. Something. Where did I screw up? Always use an extra hand around here. Rusty, I don't know what I'll do if I've lost that tape forever. I need someone to help me. Please, does anyone Any idea know where Orlando gets their clothes? Lot. I swear, I could do with a wardrobe upgrade. My friends didn't want to join up with me. They said the responder sounded like too much. Always make sure to boil your water before you drink it. As I've said, Mrs. Russo, the facilities are available to responders and refugees. I'm responding to a need to save an addict from the terrifying consequences of indulgence! I suppose your charity doesn't extend to dirty junkies. Is that it? 
As it stands, I have no way to verify your story. Had you a prior relationship with us, or the victim was present for our medical staff to... Prior relationship? So this is a refuge ruled by nepotism, is it? I deeply apologize for the commotion, darling. We do strive to make every visit to the White Spring a pleasant one. Finally, you've arrived. I was resigned to having to convince this lunatic that my daughter is dying all by myself. Do you know this woman? Ah, wonderful. I believe an apology is in order. Apologies are order to those who deserve them. <clears throat> Nonetheless, it behooves the refuge to help those in need. Perhaps you could provide more coherent details regarding this woman's conundrum? We've heard the name. The stories place it as something rather more dangerous than your average chem. The High is legendary, reserved for the upper crust of idiots who live in America's playground and still manage to get bored. It is your daughter we're talking about helping, right? Oh, give Abigail a break. The move has been stressful for her. In that case, you will be happy to hear that the leaders of Atlantic City are sponsoring travel for visitors. You might speak to Mr. Jeremiah Hopkins about it, if you haven't already. He has a booth out in the common area, beside the stage. So long as you're willing to provide assistance to the locals during your travels, you may fly to Atlantic City whenever you'd like. Incredible. Was that so difficult? You're graciously welcome for the flight, Mrs. Russo. Now I'm afraid I have other duties to attend to. Lennox shall be happy to board you once your preparations are complete. Excuse me. It baffles me how you're able to deal with that person. I mean, where are they from? The 17th century? Of course I didn't have to. We're all free people, aren't we? I take it upon myself to answer a pain in the ass with a full-body Charlie horse. At a minimum. Honestly, do you not stick up for yourself? Oh, please. I'm a performer. I learned from real life stage experience. Not from sitting at home reading Shakespeare over and over like that Orlando character must have. It's embarrassing to listen to. Oh, you were, were you? And what was I supposed to do? Just leave my daughter's fate in the hands of some stranger hundreds of miles away? For all I know, you might throw back the blood at your first opportunity. Then you'll find yourself splayed out naked on the boardwalk two days later, choking on your own vomit. I suppose the showmen would dispose of you before letting you bare your cheeks on their turf. And then where would that leave me? And Abigail? Wonderful. I'll be having a drink at the bar until our departure. I'll need it to get me through that dreadful flight. Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt you. I just heard you were going to Atlantic City and I, uh, 
It's not safe there. There's a monster. I saw it. People keep going missing. That's why I left. You're not mouthing off about some Jersey devil, are you? What a load of hogwash. My parents told me that story when I was a child to scare me into submission. Well, it didn't work. And no Jersey devil has snatched me from my bed. It's real, I swear! Long ago, a woman known as Mother Leeds cursed her 13th child. When she gave birth to the child one stormy night in the Pine Barrens, it transformed into a winged devil and flew off into the night. It's been tormenting Jersey residents ever since. Siphoning its blood and turning it into a drug. That's why it's so angry now. Marketing tactics. What would you name a chem that's supposed to be the ultimate temptation? Would you call it innocent angel milk? Siphoning blood. <laughs> no sensible business person would put in all that effort, even if the Jersey Devil was real. At least I warned you. Better for my conscience. Keep your eyes on the skies. Should I get another suit? Too ostentatious, perhaps? Still, appearances count. Be careful. You never know what's out there. Ten thousand feet sober. Oh, Flying machines are just sure make uh, my job easy. Oh, did it always smell like this? You would think in a city, people could find a civilized place to relieve themselves. Oh. Very funny. There's more chance to see a pirate ship flying over this city than some kind of winged goat. The best bet I can give you is a fellow named Stanley Soriano. <laughs> he spends all his free time at the High Rollers Lounge in the Neapolitan Casino. Stan is a weak link. Make him feel important and he'll serve up practically anything on a silver platter. Me? Oh, that would be a bad idea. You be a doll and handle the communications. I'll meet you back here once the job is done. Oh, don't be 
silly. <laughs> I'm like a handler. I have to be present to make sure you get the job done. That doesn't mean I'm going to be the one to do it. Don't you worry about what I'm occupied with. It'll just be a distraction. Don't wait up for me. Or actually, do. One should always have an escape plan. My father was a made man, and his father 